Hello and welcome to another video on Microsoft Fabric. And in today's video, we are going to discuss one feature which was released some time back that is time traveling in Microsoft Fabric Warehouse. So let's jump on to the article which talks about this. So the article talks about unlocking the insight through time, time travel in Fabric Warehouse public preview. So this is under the public preview. It is released on 22nd may 2024 and i'm going to discuss it with you i will also provide link of this article into the description so first of all what is time travel so let's understand the definition so time travel is basically how my data was looking in the past so let's say if i've done an update statement the data got updated but what was my data previously if i wanted to know then that is known as time travel now there are limitation of time travel because not everything is kept in the history because microsoft fabric only maintains in seven calendar days of history so based on that history only you will be able to know what is happening so let's understand this first of all time travel definition as per the blog traditionally when the data in a table is updated or modified it's overwritten posing a challenge for historical data analysis means it will be overwritten you can't go back and look into the time this often results in creation of multiple copies leading to increased storage expenses and reduced query efficiency also specifying the same timestamp for each table within the query not only added complexity to the query but also increased likelihood of errors and maintenance overhead impacting both performance and stability so if you have to maintain it historically you have to keep the timestamp you have to keep the multiple copies of the data and it would be really difficult to manage fabric warehouse offers the capability to time travel with t sql statements it's with the t sql you don't have to do special coding for that which enables querying and analyzing the data as it existed at diff different points in the time in the past by specifying timestamp just once with the query so you can specify a timestamp and you should be able to see how data was there at that particular moment of time. How to do time travel? How we are going to go back and do the time travel? The fabric warehouse retains historical version of a table for a period of seven calendar days. This retention allowed for querying the tables as they existed at any point within retention time frame. So within the retention time frame, you can go back and check it out. With the select statement using option clause. So this is the clause which you have to use. The timestamp can be specified only once on the entire query. The result of the query will reflect the state of data as of of that timestamp specified in the query okay only specified once you can't say table a at this time table b at that time no everything should be at one time only for complex query that involve multiple tables such joins stored procedure or views timestamp is applied just once for the entire query instead of specifying same timestamp for each table within the same query only once you can specify so means data at that point in time this ensure the entire query is executed with reference of specified time frame maintain uniformity and integrity of data throughout the query execution now why do i do time travel or when to do time travel ability of time travel is beneficial for following scenario what are those scenarios stable reporting frequent execution of extract transform and load etl jobs is essential to keep up to date with the ever changing landscape the ability to time travel supports goal by ensuring the data integrity while providing flexibility to generate report based on the query results and returned as past point in time so you can maintain the past point historical trend analysis you can do time travel specify analysis of historical data helping uncover valuable trends and pattern through querying data across various past time frames all while adhering to the fabric foundation principle of one copy data thus minimizing the storage cost troubleshooting if you want to do troubleshoot let's say you run an etl and you find some issues you can go ahead and troubleshoot performance analysis time travel can help in analyzing the performance of the warehouse queries over a time you can go in the past and check okay that, that was performing this is not performing what is that that has changed audit and compliance you can use it for audit and compliance time travel streamline auditing and compliance procedure by empowering auditors to navigate through the data history machine learning models time travel helps in reproducing the results of the machine learning model by facilitating analysis on the historical data and simulating real world scenarios this enhances the overall reliability of the model so that accurate data driven decisions are made so in this manner you can take help from the time travel to train your machine learning models also we have learned about it now let's try to understand how can we use it so you have been given an option here 
option for a timestamp as of and the time you have to specify option for timestamp as of a timestamp so what i've done friends to check this out before i started this video i actually have duplicated my sales table into sales one table and the reason for that is i just wanted to keep this time in mind so that this is the time when i created it so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to update this table with to so do some changes so let's go to another tab and first of all let's go back to this workspace ga10 fabric we clicked on the workspaces 01 GA fabric is the workspace where this warehouse is there and I already filtered on the warehouse because I went to that warehouse so warehouse 01 is the place where this action is going to happen today so let's open warehouse 01 and in warehouse 01 I would like to run a new query so this is my sales one table and let me write down a query on top of it so what I want here is basically select sum of quantity comma sum of quantity star price price p is capital sum of quantity multiply by sum of quantity comma sum of quantity multiply by price from is one and let me try to run this query so i'm getting some numbers now what i would like here is i would like to update this quantity there are quite a few places where quantity is one so just update sales that qty quantity equals to 4 where qty equals to 1 wherever the quantity is 1 update it with 4 let me run this so at 10 43 the query has been updated with quantity equals to 4 so between 30 43 is the time when there is a time when the quantity is actually 1 now let's run this query again now let me copy this on a new query window and let me run this now as you can see the difference now it is 90,146 and this number is also increased if you go here it is 49,000 only. Now can I do a time travel back so can we go back use that option and can can we travel back so we have run this query at 10 30 48 and between 10 30 48 and 10 43 where we have run the next update. So can we get this data back that time somewhere after 10 30 game so let's come back here and can we retrieve the same results so option let's look at the syntax back for timestamp as of for timestamp as of now let me write down a time so today's date 2024-06-02 so let's give the t between and in my case the current time is morning so i can write down 10 colon 40 zero zero second let's see anything else i have to write down and some milliseconds so i'll use dot zero 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 so let and let me close this now and see can it get the data for me so as this is giving me an error that this timestamp is not valid let me check what is the timestamp in the system right now so i'll use select get date function to know what is my system type because the time which i'm seeing here is actually the time of my client so time in the system is right now 5 18 so right now it's 10 48 it means it's almost so it is 5 over 30 minutes behind what i'm seeing here so it is the gmt time it is there in the system so let me go back and use the time 0 5 10 which should be 10 40 time and let me now run this query so as you can see i am now looking back into the time and my data is little bit my data is same as what it was previously so what is my current data let me run one other query i copy pasted it from another window so this is my current data 90146 and i am having 18 million 712279 but what is my data in the past it is 49913 and it was only 10,278,808. So at the same moment of time, I am seeing two different versions of data, one from the current one and one from the past one. And I can compare now how my data has changed. So now you have learned what do you mean by time travel and how can you get it? Also, you have to remember where is your system time setup for this warehouse to execute such query and to know that you can simply run the get date and compare what time you're getting on your system versus what time is there. The format is fixed. You have to give the time in this particular format. But yes, any time in the past before your updates or before your ETL, you should be able to go ahead and find out how your data was looking. So why don't you go ahead and try this out and do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series. Thanks for watching this particular video. Thank you.